G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. All right, so in last night's TGIF edition of the Backyard Tech Channel Livestream Conversations, which apparently didn't go to air, unfortunately, which would explain why there was no one talking <laughs> other than myself, I let you know, if I can get it, that I found this, the original graphics card I was gonna use in the rear projection computer. And so what we're gonna do here is prep the BIOS back up, um, pull out the graphics card that's in there, plug this one in using S-Video, which will hopefully give me a slightly better picture quality, and um, bring it back up. So I'm gonna change the... Uh... Change this out. Auto. Okay, F10. Yes. And just make sure it does come back up with the text, whichever one, which it did. That's good. So we'll turn that off now. All right. So the next thing to do is to pull out the graphics card that's in there, grab the S video lead and plug it all back up again. All right. So computer's all unplugged. Let's get this out of here. I'm just using one quick release screw on this thing. I'm not too worried about its looks or appeals or anything. All right. Now I'm gonna try and get this out one-handed. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Oh, I've just broken the lock slot. Doesn't matter. Oh, I did too. Look at that. Snapped it clean out. Oh well. Doesn't matter. I'm not. I'm not overly worried about this computer. All right. So let's get this one in. So it's spot. Grab our S video lead. Make sure we put it in properly. There we go. Okay. Gonna need one quick release screw for this. Thumb screw, whatever you want to call it. It's just to stop the side falling off anyway. All right, let's uh, move the other half's expander file there and pull the back out of the... Uh, Pull the rear pro forward and get everything ready to go. All right, so let's get rid of that silly lead. <clears throat> I've got another, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got another about eight or nine boxes of these old school AV leads lying around that are probably going to end up at the tip anyway. Right, so let's. Whoop. Let's unplug all this. Oh, that didn't work like I wanted it to. Hang on. All right, so I've got the SCART plugged back up with audio <coughs> and uh, S video. Now, for those that are, don't know a lot about this sort of older video stuff, all you need to basically remember when you're talking about quality was in low to highest picture quality, it went composite, S-video, then component, okay? But in the case of these older rear projection type TVs, not all of them had component in, all right? So the best you could get was either a component to SCART plug like this or a SCART plug with composite and S-video, Okay, so in order of quality again, so from bottom to top, <clears throat> you had S-video, sorry, you had co composite, S-video, 
and then component and component would be one that would give you the 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 best analog picture quality because obviously um the source of the video is driving the 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 uh color system your um rgb guns whether you're talking projection or just old school you know tube type crts anyway all right <clears throat> excuse me let's get all this put back together and in place and then fire it back up again okay so we're all plugged up as you can see nice video lead and audio before we put this back on the angle that it was i want to fire it up and uh make sure it already it does actually come up It should go auto, but we'll soon see whether this actual graphics card still works. Soon find out, won't we? I might have to get a screen onto that and see what it's doing. There's nothing on the screen though. Hold on. AV1. Uh, hmm, I think that graphics card is stuffed. Let me go and get a monitor, hang on. Okay, well I've got a monitor plugged up, but I've now got nothing. So that's plugged into the computer, that's plugged into the graphics card, and I've got nothing. So let me do a bit of investigation. Yeah, this isn't going to plan, unfortunately, and I'm starting to think that card may have had it, which is less than ideal, actually. Um, so as you can see, I've got a monitor here, S video, but even if I plug in the uh, monitor, see there, it's, it's not happy about something. It's trying to come up, but it's just not happening. There it goes. There it goes. Now it's running. Finally. Well, that has been not what I expected, to be honest. Although, the, you see there, the quality is a hell of a lot better. It's not fitting in the screen, but uh, I'm hoping it'll oh, it'll come up. Really hoping that it comes up. It's. Uh, I think once I get this up and running, I'm going to leave. I've got it plugged into the S video port, actually. Here it comes. All right. So, I think I've done it. I'm certainly not going to disconnect it. <laughs> 
doesn't fit in the screen properly though, does it? Um, what I'll do, well it's a much sharper image, it probably doesn't look at the U, but it is a sharper image. What I'm going to do, um, let's just see. There it is there, S video. All right, let me go back to the SCART input and see if that makes any difference. Bear with us. It's a bit hard to tell regarding obviously the flickering, but the image is a hell of a lot clearer than it was um, before. It's much clearer. So what I'm gonna do now is put this back together and uh, hope it stays up. I really hope it stays up. Let me put it back together and then we'll, uh, we'll run a couple of tests. All right, this is getting frustrating really frustrating um we well saw it was working as video now it's not and it won't even come up off the screen I'm, no i'm now starting to think the graphics card has had it let me do a bit more investigation all right well after a little bit more investigation and a little bit of fiddling around and changing of keyboard and mouse it's actually up again so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave it like this for a while and i'm going to see what it does well, if you went out last night for a Friday night, and just all right. That, uh, the week had been so bad. Let me mute that. That is a much better picture quality. Now I know it doesn't look like it on camera because this is obviously CRT, so you got flickering. But it is immensely better. The text across the top of the screen is far more legible. If we go into the menu. We go to picture. I can actually improve the sharpness no end. And my, oh, it's over sharpened now. I can see that. So we'll pull it back a bit to 15. I can't do anything about contrast and tint, but brightness and everything. So it is far better now. That is actually far more easier to see, and that's because of S-Video. Now, for those that are probably too young to remember, um, back in the days of analog TV, especially with these projection ones, you had, it, you had as I've said, composite, S-Video, and then component. But with SCART, some SCART based TVs had SCART instead of component and some component based TVs didn't have SCART. It would depend on the manufacturer at the time. But this is far more legible. The mouse isn't crash hot, but we'll, we'll fix that. But I mean, I can actually, I can read everything. I can see everything much clearer than uh than before the audio is phenomenal the audio is fantastic on this so but there we go now running s video for old mates uh rear projection pc with mx linux there we go stick around we've got the mac coming up soon i'll show you what i've done with that and a few other bits and pieces have a good one guys cheers